Hey guys, so today we have a quick review about the Transformer figures that I obtained from Jada Toys. So this is the Optimus Prime in his vehicle mode, specifically the G1 Optimus Prime. Here's their beautiful vehicle mode, as you can see. So if you look at my hand, in comparison to this figure, you see how small it is. In fact, this is the 1 to 32 scale Optimus Prime figure, and it's not a transformable figure. So it's basically just a vehicle mode that looks really nice on a rail. And this is actually made up part of diecast metal as well because uh, from the advertising they focus on diecast vehicle so in fact the top capital vehicle here the red part that i'm touching they're all made up of metal block it's very feel very cold when i touch them like this it's also have a lot of plastic so on the chrome part that i'm touching right now well this part i feel like it's metal but this bumper piece down here, headline, the top piece here, and then the side piece here, one of those, and as well as one of the chrome piece that we have at the back of the heavy vehicle cap, and there are two metal blocks here. They're all made of plastic, and then the back of the vehicle, we see the back piece in black here, and the back piece in blue here, they're all made of plastic as well. The back piece of the vehicle is also made of plastic, and here's the bottom of the vehicle. You can see that it's supposed to be the vehicle mode for the G1 Optimus Ram. So that's why we also see the G1 model down here. And then we have the wheels. Other vehicles, they actually have rubber ties on them. So plastic wheel and rubber ties over. And then at the back of the vehicle, we can see that it's actually double wheels. So it's very accurate to the actual vehicle. So you can see that the brand name is Jada in here. I think it's it looks really good. It looks really good. I normally don't buy transformer that can transform, but in some cases for small figures that look extremely nice like this. Now that I have four figures in my collection, I do think that this one do look nice because. Sometimes I just feel lazy, I don't want to transform my small figures or big figures anymore, so I'll just put one that look extremely beautiful in vehicle mode, and then another one that look extremely beautiful in robot mode. And mostly I keep my transformable figures in robot mode, that if I want to, I can transform them into vehicle mode. If I don't want to, I can just leave them there. As I mentioned before, this guy, the F10 take is that he's very small and he is really nice looking. This is more, he actually scaled really well with the Studio Series size figures. For example, put in some suspective, let's put Optimus there. Let me put in AO Tension. How? In vehicle mode, of course, this one is the AO Tension for Jaeger class. How? And look at that. That's in comparison to the semi truck and the vehicle mode of How. What do you think? I do think that they look really nice together. The scale? I think the scale work out the scale work out really nice. There's the back of the vehicle. Like that. And here's how they look like from the top down. And because this is a transformable vehicle for hell, so of course have like a lot of junks here from the robot mode, but in vehicle mode, I think they look really nice, of course, because this guy doesn't transform, he look extremely accurate, and of course, because it's their official license products, does have their Autobot insignia in here as well, when they touch it, it feels kind of like a sticker, it feels like a sticker, but I'm not entirely sure whether it's a sticker or not, because I can't find any sim line, probably can shred that off but um, of course we don't want to try and they have rubber tires so that even better so i'm thinking if we do like movie scenes recreation using these tile figures along with the transformable figures they look so nice here's another one for side comparison so we have a dark of the moon dark of the moon left foot figures in here this card mode of course is bigger than most of the modern studio series car mode so keep that in mind for this modern study series car mode, most of them will be smaller than this and will scale better with that Optimus Prime figures. Here's how they look from the back. And here's how they look from the sides. Oh, just to mention, this one is actually a KO version of a lead foot, so it's not the original one. The original one was really rare, so that's why I just obtained this figure, because I only started collecting in 2018. Keep this... Optimus and some of our Studio Series Optimus. So this is the Bayverse Optimus Prime Studio Series 15th Anniversary Optimus and you can see how well they look together. I think in terms of movie scale, that does not look bad at all. In fact, if we put in some human figures, 
like this. And if you look at human figures running up to the truck, that looks really nice, right? In my eyes, I think it looks really nice. Then look at, of course, this baby bird of the atmosphere a little too big, a little bigger than it should be. But look at the top of the cap. I don't think it's that much of a difference because look at the windows. I think the window size correspond to what we have up here. Even what we have up here is even a little smaller. So I do think that if you display them together, they, they're not looking out scale at all. And in fact, Jada Toys have made many other vehicles as well. So they actually have the Bayverse Optimus Prime too. And I'll review that one later. And then let's put in the Bumblebee Movie Optimus because we know that the Bumblebee movie verse and the Rob the Beast movie verse, they want to make Optimus more closer to the look of the G1. And here you can see how they look. I think it looks really nice to the G1 truck mode. And if you look again at the side of the window piece, I honestly think they are perfect scaling to one another. The transformable Optimus here they actually have a smaller window. So maybe if they scale well together, this should be even bigger. So you can see how much mass shifting Michael Bay and other directors actually do. For a small vehicle like this with the same window ratio, you can have a giant Optimus, a giant Optimus figures like that. And then just to give you another comparison, put in this one is the Byway Optimus brand. And this one is the MXC Optimus. The MXC Optimus brand is a little too big. But if we look at the size for the window, yeah, this one does look a little bigger. If we put in the byway one, we see that this window scale is a little smaller than the Jada toys for the byway, but for the MXC, it's a little bigger. But you put them like this, I think all of them look really nice together. But of course, it scale well, it scale better with your byway one. So I'm just gonna take the MXC one out. But this, this is a perfect scale and I imagine that this is not the G1 vehicle most Optimus, but it's the Rob the Beast Optimus. They have that option as well. If you want to display a figure, for example, this one, this have a lot of custom painted battle damage in here. In robot mode, they all look dirty like that. So if you transform him into vehicle mode, there's no way he's gonna look as nice as this. So that's why it is, it's good for us to have option to have two of the best mold because after the vehicle transform, they all look dirty. So yeah, I put a link in the description for where I obtained this figure from if you wanted to check it out. And if you want to get one, get one. I think it's really good. Hey, you. Yes, you. Subscribe to our channel. Please, otherwise, Megatron may kill me again. And no, I'm not kidding. He's right there. Hey, Josh. So please, subscribe. I don't want to be back in two pieces. Your subscription means a lot to us.